Hello, I'm Susie Nightingale and I'm here with the Perfume Society unboxing our brand new subscription box which is Seasonal Scents and here we are with the first one, Spring. We're here, we made it to spring, thank goodness, a time for optimism, brightness, freshness in the air and a great opportunity for you to change up your seasonal scent wardrobe. One of the questions we're most often asked at the Perfume Society is which fragrances should I wear for which seasons? Well, there are no hard and fast rules. Of course you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want. But we think there's something especially lovely when there's a change in the weather, a change in the air temperature to change up your scent wardrobe. And this is the perfect opportunity for you to try at home. We know it's still very difficult to go into shops. A lot of them don't have testers. So how are you going to try new fragrances? We can send them to you at home. And I hope you're going to enjoy exploring these with us today. The cost is £18 for a quarterly subscription. If you want to go annual, have them sent to you for an entire year, then that's £68. And both of those prices include postage but let's dive in. I'm so ready for a new season. The first one we can explore together is Atelier Cologne Clementine California. Now a lot of citruses we maybe associate with the summer but this is a lot more depth to it so it's celebrating and inspired by the perpetual spring and summer of America's west coast. There's a glamour about this, there's a sort of um, Hollywood swagger to it I would say. So definitely more depth than your average citrus. It's juicy and voluptu voluptuous. There's crisp blue skies and star anise and juniper have that piquancy to them, that pop of freshness with the clementine and the mandarin. There's Szechuan pepper in there as well, which is, I always think it's slightly fruity. And if you think of the colour of that, those pink peppercorns, that also helps it pop and fizz with sparkle. There's some vetiver in there as well, which is really grounding and sandalwood and cypress. So it's that sort of walking through the forest in the springtime, maybe walking through the Hollywood Hills while rehearsing your lines. Why not? It's a new you. <laughs> Talking of a new you, there's Giorgio Armani, My Way. And we've got these gorgeous, there's two minis in this set. Um, we love a mini, don't we? They're just adorable, so collectible. Giorgio Armani My Way is celebrating strength, femininity, celebrating you, the best version of you. And again, it's energetic and sparkling. It's bergamot and orange blossom, one of my favourite notes of all time. I, was, I think it just smells of sunshine, sunshine filtered through blossom trees. And there's a happiness to it with further white flowers as well. So you've got tuberose and jasmine. They're luminescent, they feel airy. They're not as heady and heavy as some florals that you can get. So it's easy to wear. There's cedarwood and vanilla and musk as well. So it's going to swathe you in a cashmere shawl or a cardi. So it's like when you, you wanna wear your summer dresses, but it's still a little bit chilly. So you just pop on an extra layer. That's what I think of this fragrance as. We also have the most gorgeous Maison Lancôme Pivoin Printemps. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Please don't come at me. It's French for spring anyway, so let's go with that. This is a soft caress of a rose. Again, it's blossomy. It makes me think of really pale pink flowers and petals that shower on you as you walk through a garden. It's beguiling again. It, it swathes you in this sort of kiss and it feels fresh and optimistic as well. It feels happy. You can't help but smile when you wear that fragrance. And here's a name you will definitely know. It's Mugler and this is Angel Nova. So fans of Angel will know that they do a lot of different iterations. They change it up. It doesn't smell like the original. So if you weren't a fan of that, definitely try this on your skin. It's very different indeed. There's a raspberry note to it. And there's two types of rose. So they've extracted it in two differing ways. Uh, so it's almost like rose water and the rose petals itself. And it feels happy again it's it's one of those joyful fragrances i think 
Let's do this gorgeous, bright Valentino Donna Roma Yellow Dream. They want you to imagine, and let me tell you, I have spent a lot of time imagining myself in Rome, walking through the streets in the early morning, that first blush of dawn. You can feel the streets warming up, that buzz as life comes back to them again, and oh, how we want to be there. It is, again, fresh and citrusy, but it's not too fresh, so it's not cologne-y. It's got a lot more going on to, um, in that. It's got bergamot and lemon and rose, but there's a creaminess to it as well. It's almost like um, a lemon meringue pie sort of smell. That's how I, I, I feel it on my skin. It's not as sweet as that, but that's creaminess with the zing of the lemon as well. So good. And I think, let's try... Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Dew, another iteration of that all time bestseller, and another gorgeous mini. This is dew on petals in the garden, first thing in the morning, tiptoeing, maybe barefoot in the garden, why not? Wearing a gauzy gown that you're going to twirl around in and joyfully explore the garden and smell everything and all that newness. So it is a floral, but it's it's a watery floral. It's aquaceous in a way. It's those petals kissed with dewdrops in the morning. There's pear and bergamot in there as well, and oris, rose, heliotrope, which I think is a really fabulous, quite sexy and really addictive floral. It's got a vanilla-y note to it, so it's got that creaminess, but it's also waxy. You can almost feel the texture of the fragrance when you, of the flower when you wear it. So incredible to wear. And that's one that will waft behind you. And I'm sure you'll get people asking what you're wearing on all of these fragrances. And especially when you feel happy and confident as well, you get people saying, oh, what's different about you? And the difference is you've changed up your scent game. Now, if everything there was lovely sounding to you, we want you to do things your way throughout this season. Why not stage a mutiny with Maison Margiela? So an unusual name for a fragrance and an unusual fragrance. It is spring done differently. There is a, a warmth to this. There's an evocativeness to this. That's, it feels subversive. So you've got pink pepper. There's saffron in there, which is quite leathery. It's quite a deep, sometimes masculine fragrance. It can almost smell slightly oody, but it's not that strong. This is one of those that's so rounded and well blended. It's kind of difficult to pick out individual notes. It just wafts around you in gorgeous gusts. And we have got Libra, there it is, YSL Libra. Now this is chic, bold you. Yves Saint Laurent, one of the world's most famous designers, and he designed Le Smoking, which was the tuxedo that women wore. It's quite shocking at the time. It was really new, very unusual. And it was women doing things their own way again. They were striding forth with optimism, saying, we're not going to do things that way anymore. We're doing it our way. This is lavender. There's almost fougere notes, which is often seen as masculine, but it's sweetened with vanilla and musk in the base and cedar. There's pettigran in there as well and mandarin. And it's just the new version of you, why not? We hope you've enjoyed exploring these and explore all of the others. We'll see you next time. Bye.